What's up, Foundation? What's up, YouTube? Man, it's me, your big partner, Cartoon. <laughs> Five, three. Man, I'm back again. Yeah, man, I'm back again, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, these black shirts. I don't like how these black shirts fit today. <laughs> they make me look like I'm like I'm bigger than what I am, like I'm heavier than what I am. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, man, anyway, man, it's hot, y'all. I don't know. I don't know what that weather like in, in other states, but in Alabama, it's hot. Man, when I say it's hot, boy, partner, look, it's getting hot, and it's early. I've been telling everybody, man, you know, because you can look at how out here, especially, you can look at the winter and tell what type of summer you're going to have. And I knew. I said, boy, look here. Hey, we're going to be in trouble this summer. We're going to be in trouble this summer. Dang, I, my green's my mind. But anyway, yeah, I said, man, we're going to be in trouble this summer. It's going to be hot, and it's hot already. Already counting. But anyway, I always say that already count. I mean, when I was in juvenile hall, they had a they had a, a counselor over there and uh on the girl side, girl CD, uh named Samadhi or something like that. You saw when he be counting, already counting. But anyway, look, y'all. You could tell from the title that uh what this is about. What this one's about. This here is 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 a you know another wake up call to them youngsters out there that figure they got what it take. They figure they got what it take. Man, I can guarantee you that over the last few months or years or whatever, it's been some youngsters that have looked at my videos and told themselves, man, he and the, the word that the youngsters use nowadays, oh he capping. He just talking. Man, I'm built for that. I can handle that. I ain't no punk. I ain't no punk. I can do it. Yeah. Somebody mess with me. Yeah, I'm going uh, 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 uh. to make them pay. <laughs> Man, I had to laugh. You know what I'm saying? Because the old saying go always laugh at a fool. Because if that's what you are, a fool, man. You know, if you think I'm laughing. I mean, excuse me, if you think I'm lying or capping, as y'all say. Now, I'm not saying y'all can't hang. Some of y'all can. You know what I'm saying? Some of them dudes go up in there and straight turn into uh, uh, runaway, runaway rah rahs. You know what I'm saying? But what you're not looking at, homies, is the price you're going to have to pay to become that prison goon, to become that prison goblin with that killer mentality and respect. See, it's a price you don't you don't get that for free. Just because you walk up in there. You don't automatically get them type accolades. You don't like you don't automatically get them type pat on the backs, them attaboys. You know what I'm saying? No. You got to earn that. You got to make your name. If that's the name you want, if that's the title and the reputation that you're trying to get, you have to earn that, man. And you earn that through blood, sweat, and tears. You earn that through turning a three-year sentence into a 33 year sentence. But hey, if you can handle that, be my guest. Name, knock yourself out. Man, knock yourself out. Do your thug thistle. Woohoo! Get down for the get down. But I guarantee you, there is an opponent in there that's undefeated. There is, there is, there is an entity. Behind them walls, that's undefeated, man. It ain't lost, not not one get down. Not one get down has it ever lost. And it never will. And you know what that is, man? Time. Time don't lose, man. Time is undefeated. Time is undefeated, my friends. It don't make no difference how much time you do. 
Time is going to win, man. Time going to always be there. You can't run time off. You can't chase time off. You can't whoop time. Time is going to be there. And you're going to do that time, too. You're going to do that time. Because every step of the way, time going to be trying to do you. Time is going to try to do you every step, every inch, every second, every iota. Time is going to be there staring you in your face. So now you got to look at it. Do I want to catch more time? Do I want to catch more time? Man, that's going to be something that's going to be presented to y'all a whole lot, man, behind them walls. Am I willing to catch more time to stay down with my homies? Am I willing to catch more time to maintain my reputation? Am I willing to catch more time to get these fools up off me? Am I willing to catch more time to be able to go home the same way I came in, saying a man, without being tampered with, without having your stuff taken, without being punked in the game every time you turn around, without being labeled this, that, and the other. Can you handle it? Because that's what it's going to come down to, man. That's what it's going to come down to. And I'm wondering, can you handle it? Can you handle when you come in 19, 18, 17, 20, 21, a, a youngster, first time in. Can you handle it when you sent to a max camp because of the crime you committed and they put you in a cell with a fool six, six, four, six, five, six, six, three, four hundred pounds. He ain't going home. He got life without. He's never going home. You have just entered into his world. Even if he is going home. He's not going home for 20, 30, 40 more years. If that. Now they put you in the cell with him. He got a bad attitude. He don't like youngsters. It's a lot of dudes in there been did a lot a long time. They don't like you youngsters. No, they don't like y'all at all. Because all y'all want to do is gather up in the back and, and beat on the table and beat on your chest and rap. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. All of those stupid mess. I be looking, I be like, man, I used to look at this stuff. I said, man, I'm surprised they ain't got emphysema the way they beating on their chest, a heart murmur or something. And they be back there just going, oh, I'm be I'm be I'm like, man, shut up. Fucking breath spitting all on each other. That mess used to get on my nerves. Anyway, you in the cell with him. Hey, man, look, when that door locked, you in the cell with him now. When that door locked, ain't no help coming. It's you and him. It's you and him. He been laying up watching you for the last couple of weeks, checking you out, trying to see where your strength and your weaknesses are, peeping to see who you run with, peeping to see what type of organization you may or may not belong to, peeping to see if you got some heart, if you're willing to go round for round and pound for pound for the get down. He's calculating it because he's been down 20 some years. He know what to look for. You don't. You don't even know he's watching you. You don't even know he's visually dissecting you. You don't know this. Now he's plotting. Waiting for the right time. And one day that time gonna come, youngsters. When y'all lock down and the door close. And he might wait after that first count go by. Now it might be like one or two in the morning. 12 o'clock, police ca police ain't count for another three, four hours or until the doors rack again for breakfast. It's the bewitching hour. Say hi to the bad guy. The boogeyman is fixing to show up. What you gonna do, man? You 
get a tap on your foot. Boop, boop, boop. You wake up and look. Uh, you got uh, the mountain standing over you, breathing hard. <sighs> and you like, hey, man, what's up, man? What's up? He ain't saying nothing. He just looking at you. Black as an ace of spades, eyes red as a pair of red bottom shoes. And he breathing hard. <sighs> man, got a fist, look like a look like a uh a elephant's butt is so big. It's time. It's time, man. What you gonna do? You know? Now, you got two options. Fight. Or give in. Now just because you fight. Don't mean you going to win. But. You got a knife. Because you been. You ain't. You, you don't. You don't trust big boy. You don't trust big man. You don't trust the giant. You got a knife. So now here it is. What you going to do Mike? Now I know. I know a whole lot of y'all out there saying. Shoot man. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stab him. I'm a whoop, whoop, whop, whop, wham. I seen a whole lot come in and say they going to do that. Until it get real. Until it get real in they face. Now it's time to do what you say you going to do. But now here it is. You ain't got nothing. You ain't got nothing but a, a, a 20 split five. That's the type of sentences they give you in Alabama. You know, you could do your five and go back home real quick, man. You still, you won't even be 25 yet. But now, you got uh, you got Jabba the Hutt standing over you with his shirt off, breathing. Now you got to stab him, man. You got to. Or be made a girl. But now, you got to know Within the within the within the stab them, here come their time. Now they finna now the now the state, the court system, is finna tax another 10 years on your system. They finna take your split. The split you had was based on you going in there and be a model citizen and not getting in no trouble. Now you had now you now, now you put in a position to, 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 to be able to maintain who you are. Now you got to put that work in with that knife. But you know they finna give you another hot 10 to 15 years for this. You finna catch an attempted murder or assault case. But you wanna go home. Man, but you wanna go home. See, all that's gonna go through your mind. If I do this, am I still gonna, man, I wanna go home. I don't wanna do all them extra years in there with these fools. What you gonna do, Mike? What you gonna do? You know how you stop from getting put in that position? Don't take your butt to prison. That's how you stop from being put in that position. Don't take your butt to prison. And you ain't got to worry about that. You ain't got to worry about it. But no, 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 no. Some of y'all ain't going to listen. Some of y'all hard-headed as as as, 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 as as the days long, man. Another scenario. You come up in there gang banging. I'm a crip. I'm a blood. I'm a I'm a, I'm a, I'm a GD. I think that's vice lord. I don't know, but I'm a vice lord. You know, I'm a I'm a whatever, whatever organizations that may be out there. You a part of it. So you figuring, okay, I don't, you know, I don't care. I done caught this case. Man, I'm going on up in there with my with, with my people, with my folks, with my cubs, with my blood, with whatever, you know. We just gonna ride it on out. We gonna stay down. Cause I'm down for mine. Yeah, you down for yours. Yeah, you down for yours, man. Now you in there and it's time to get out. You've been you've been you've been stomping around fronting and stunting 
Like you down with everything. You in there, you got you a knife. You holding it. Cause cause one who you know other your other partners that support or whatever organization you may be a part of then gave you a knife and you in there. You know you 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 eating spreads, you in there, you y'all all grouped up in the cell, kicking it, talking, rapping, beating, telling them lies y'all tell. You know what I'm saying? Y'all done had sex with every woman in the neighborhood. Y'all done shot up everything from here to there. All them lies y'all be talking about telling each other. You know what I'm saying? Because half of y'all, the majority of y'all ain't doing up a line anyway. So now you in here. You been in here three, four good months. You feeling yourself. You kind of realize who is who and what is what. And you know what's to get out. So you know. Your voice done got a little louder. Yeah. From the time you came through the door, here it is three, four, five months later. Now you know who is who and what is what. You done kind of peeped who to mess with, who not to, who's scary, who ain't. You know what I'm saying? You done seen a couple of other dudes get up and, and talk loud and woof a little bit. And, you know, dudes kind of like get scared. So you pick, oh, that's the way to go. I can bluff my way through this thing. You know, tough. Boy, your voice done got a little louder. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Uh-huh. But the whole time, you want to go home. You don't want no smoke for real. But you're in there with your fellas. Your fellas get into it with another group of fellas. The other group of fellas not playing the radio. But now your group of fellas ain't playing the radio neither. So it couldn't be squashed. Couldn't come to an understanding. The only understanding that it has come to is that we finna get down. You know? We finna blaze each other up. We finna meet on the battlefield. Whether it's in the gym, in the kitchen, in the day room, on the tier, wherever. On the yard. You bring your fellas, I'm bringing mine. We all got knives. Let's die today, y'all. Now you can't now you can't fake it till you make it no more. Cause your boys, your boys in the cell, they getting ready. They lace them state boots up. They putting them state coats on. They got them beanies on pulled low. Half of them got their gloves on. You know, they done made their mind up. Man, we finna go. But now, one thing you better look and realize, the majority of them that's finna go, they got 25, 30, 40 years to do. Some of them ain't never going home. So they don't care nothing about it's time to go. They finna go. They ain't got nothing to lose. Here it is. You done, you done, you done brought your lane butt up in here with a few tiddlywink years to do. But now you done messed up in the little baby prison that you was in. And they done, you know, doing whatever you was doing. Now they done sent you up to the big prison, the max camps. You up there with the fellas. You, you've, been, you've been walking around like Rooster Cockburn. Because you up here with the big fellas. You done called home. Yeah, I'm up here in such and such now, y'all. Yeah, I'm up here. You know, you done told your little homies on the street. They like, man, you up there? Man. Yeah. Little old chicken head bras that you think care something about you. Half of them be talking to you on the phone while they laying in the bed with another two. Talk about, shh. But you bragging to them because you done got kicked out the little salt prison you was in because you got a little bit of time. And they done sent you up here with the fellas. Huh? They done fit, they done sent you up here with the with the with the with the cats with no return address on them. You know. Yeah. And now it's time to get out. Oh shoot. The real you finna come out now. Cause now you you the only thing going through your mind is man, I don't want to get killed. I don't want to get stuck. Or man, I don't want nobody to kill me. I don't want to stick nobody. And the whole time, whether you get stuck or you stick somebody, you finna get this time, partner. You finna get this time added on. Wham! Here you go. Now, when they when the court system lay that extra time on you, ain't no need to get on the phone calling mama, grandmama, your girl, none of them. Man, I just call some more time, man. Baby, you was coming home in two years. What's up now? Man, they just gave me 10 more. What? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. 
Yeah. What you going to do? What you going to do, Mike? What you going to do? I wonder, I wonder, uh, what you going to do? You know, now you in another situation. You and your partner that you, you real cool with, man, you know him from the streets. You know him from the streets. Y'all was tight. Y'all was click clack tight, man. Y'all was down by low. Now y'all happen to end up in the same prison together. You know he got a little time. You got a little time. You ain't get. You ain't got nothing but some but some chump change though. But you up uh, but you up here with him. He get into it with somebody. The somebody he got into it with ain't playing with him. It progressed, and the dude he got your partner got into it with. Uh, uh, been stabbed to the floor. Sent out on the helicopter. He on life support. Now people looking at you. Wondering what you gonna do. What you gonna do. Now you got you got you got you got two scenarios that's gonna come about behind this. One, people looking at you wondering, man, what you gonna do, man? Yo, your road dog, your road dog just got stabbed to the floor, man. It's on you to get some get back. That's one scenario. Two, the second scenario, the dudes who got out on your partner, they know you and him real tight. They don't know what you're about. They don't know if you a coward or not. They figure in their mind, well, look, we, let's go get him because he a threat. Now they're coming after you. So then the two scenarios. So now what you going to do? The first scenario, they finna slap some more time on you. Or you finna get your head knocked off for trying to get some get back. Or if you get to get back, then white folks gonna put some more time on you. Now you ain't going home. Or the second scenario, they can come get you and tear you out the frame. Or they can come get you. And in the process of them trying to get you, you get them because you protecting yourself. Now you got more time still. So however it go, then white folks going to put that time on your behind in that courtroom. When you sitting in lock up and the police coming through with mail doing mail call and they slide that little white envelope through your cell door, wow, you see it, it's the paperwork. Dis di uh, disciplinary, a uh, disciplinary for whatever you was doing, whatever you did to get sent back here to lock up, it's the disciplinary. As we say in California, the 115. But at the bottom, it say D8 referral. <gasps> what? A, a do tell. A do tell. For y'all in other states or for y'all youngsters out there who ain't um went back behind that wall yet. When it say D8 referral at the bottom of it, that means they're sending your court that your case to court. You have caught another case and they sending you to court on it and they finna book you. They finna book you. They finna book you. More time. Some more. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what? Yeah. Can't beat that time, y'all. You, you will not whoop time. I can give you so many different scenarios. So many different scenarios, man. We're at the moment, you know what I'm saying? At the spur of the moment. Now, one thing I will say, man, people say what they'll do and what they won't do. But I, over the years, man, I'm 60 years old, man. And I've come to the realization that nine times out of 10, man, you don't know what you're going to do until the problem is presented. I've been in situations where I said, man, what I was going to do. And then when it, when it hit me, I didn't do what I said I was going to do. I did something different. You know, whether it was based on the circumstances or my mind frame at the time or whatever, you will find that, man, people don't know what they're going to do until the problem comes and it's time for them to do it. Some do the right thing, some do the wrong thing. In some situation, 
There is no right and wrong thing. It might just come down to self-preservation and let the chips fall where they may. Let the chips fall where they may, man. Well, look, man, I've been running my mouth, man, for 25 minutes, man. Y'all know that's about where I keep it at. Um, I'm just let y'all think on that, man. I'm just let y'all marinate on that, man, you know, because the way that you can keep from putting yourself in these positions, man, is just don't go. Don't go. Believe it or not, man, in my day and time, when I was a youngster, you in, in, in L.A., believe it or not, man, it was cool to go to jail. It was the thing to do. It was a rite of passage. It was a rite of passage, man, to go to juvenile hall, go to camp, go to Y.A., go to the county jail, go to prison. It was a rite of passage. If you didn't go through that, you was looked at as a buster. You know what I'm saying? You ain't never been to jail, fool. You ain't got no say-so in what going in the set. You know? It was cool back then. It ain't cool no more. It's 2024. It ain't cool no more, man. You don't get brownie points no more like that. In certain situations, you may or may not. But boy, I guarantee. When that cement and the steel and them little bitty square boxes that they put you in, when it get through with you, Man, I tell you, boy, you're going to cry so many tears. There's a lot of y'all going to cry so many tears. Going to plead and beg God, please. Over and over and over. If you just give me one more chance, I promise y'all won't come back. I'm going to do the right thing. Please. Mm, mm, mm. And you're lying. So, well, some of y'all lying. But anyway, why go through it, man? Why go through it? Why go through it, Mike? Uh, m Monday, m m uh, m you know what? I can sit here right now and say, I don't know exactly what I'm going to eat come this Monday. I might, I might want to go to Papa Do's, me and my wife, and get me a $200, uh, fish meal, you know, I might want to go down there to, uh, 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 Chipotle and get me one of them burritos. I might want to go to churches. I might want to go to Popeye's or I might just want to kick back and let my wife fix me one of those ooh wee exuberant meals she be making because she can cook. You know, you don't know because you got so many different things to choose from out here. But for those that sit behind that wall and I don't know about the other states, I don't know what they eat on Mondays, but in Alabama, you finna get, you finna get the stale hot dog bun with the green mold on it. You finna get them, them, them little pale hot dogs look like that, look like they made out of human flesh with the little green tin on it. You finna get the look the uh the, the mixed vegetables a spoonful that's sour and nasty. You finna get one cookie that Roach has been crawling on, some watered down juice that got salt peter in it, cause they don't that it, it, and, and it's messing your system up. And for those who don't know what salt peter is, that's that stuff they give you so your so your wood don't get hard, messing your whole system up. After 25 years or 20 years of drinking that, when you get out, it don't even want to work no more because the system done messed you up drinking this poison for all these years. Now you got to run and chase behind these little blue pills all day. Yeah. So if that's what you want to eat and that's what you want to drink and that's what you want to go through, then go, go, go do it. Man, go knock yourself out, man. Knock yourself out, fools. Or you could go ahead and stop what you're doing now, man. And stay out here with the people who love you. Because I don't care who in the, who behind that wall, they don't love you. But they don't. They might tell you they do. They might fake like they do. But the first chance they get to cross you for some cookies and soups, that's what they going to do. Yeah. Anyway, man, I'm tired of talking. It's me, man, your big partner, man, Cartoon 5-3, man. 
Y'all stay safe, man. Stay above ground. Y'all know me, man. I represent the gangsters. The what gangsters? The Avalon gangsters. The Avalon gangsters. The Avalon gangsters. I'm out, man. Peace. Two, one, man.